Welcome to the vlog! Oh, you're a bit smudged. What's that about? What's, whose slimy fingers have gotten on you, hey? Mine, my slimy fingers. We have just made ourselves my new fave drink, which is this chai latte from, it's this company called Chai Tea Concentrate. Found it on Amazon, really good really good also rekindled my love with this cup um which i got like a year ago do you remember about two years ago when i went on a hunt for the starbucks cup the frosted starbucks cup and now they're readily easily accessible and i literally went on a hunt for so long to find that um and now i'm over it to be honest with you because this one i actually don't know i have this really good turquoise one which you can use for hot and cold you can like do the straw and I don't know where it's gone um but yeah that guy that Starbucks one's pretty good so I bought my chai latte I've also got a water because it got to stay hydrated and I have not been drinking enough water lately I have been like everyone during lockdown I've had my highs and my lows and yes there was a bit of a low um just because i was just a bit fed up um so today i'm gonna really give myself the pampering and the love that i need hot girl spring do you hear me um we're going to costco because i need some bits for my new insta called grack snacks where i'm just pasting loads of foodie things and i'm having so much fun honestly that's the only thing getting me through at the moment um testing loads of new recipes things like that so i need some ingredients from there because i'm keep going to the shops whereas it's better to just like bulk buy them do you know what i mean right guys we are about to pull into costco no queue for costco which is unheard of oh my gosh no one is here i'm so happy i've got perfect parking space as well wow such a good day i better get in there before you know what though queues turn at the like quickest rate so suddenly there's there's no queue and then suddenly there will be a massive one so i better go in stop my yakking i'm in people and oh my gosh it is so flipping quiet there's literally I love it. Do you know what I think's happened? I think because no one, everyone's at the real shops so and no one's here, so it's great. Every time I come, I see this, it's so sexy. And ages ago, I was hunting for these forever. And now they have them. And these are so cool. Color changing cups. Are you joking? I want it. I am so tempted. Gorgeous. Every time I come, dance bad hopes for root beer but they never have root beer let me tell you this girl had a great time except there were no chocolate chips but it's okay we don't let that stop our path we do not let it ruin our day we're here to have a good day not a bad day and do you know what <laughs> to continue this good honking day i'm gonna go to costa not costco okay we're here at costa just trying to decide why one also it makes my heart so happy because outdoor eating is now open and i can see people eating outside and it makes me literally so happy i don't want a hot drink i think i definitely want something cold and refreshing especially after my chai latte do you know what i mean i think they used to have a chocolate frostino a white chocolate one i feel like i want that it's really loud I feel like I'm about to be pranked by Ant and Deck. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, please can I get a soya mint choc frostino? What's that? for the frostino. Uh, oh, hi. We got the, the drink. Here it is. And it's actually quite delicious. I've been sipping on it on the way home. Um, it's a wonderful colour and it does remind me of the... If you get the chocolate one from Starbucks with some mint. Although I feel like this is a bit more minty. It's a bit more like... Do you know what I mean? It's got a bit of tang. So, back from Costco, things we got. This absolutely gigantic. Three other people were on the phone to whoever they were speaking to, talking about fabric conditioner and fabric softener. I wonder if fabric conditioner is what Americans call fabric softener. Because that's oh, American. This. And I got some t-shirts for the tie-dye. My friend bought me this last year for my birthday. I don't know if you remember. Everyone, everyone in lockdown 1.0 doing the tie dye, and I never got round to it. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough things. So what I've done is I bought a six pack of medium, and then I also bought a six pack of extra large summer oversized whatever. You know when you're like, I think I'm going to take the extra large back because we've just opened up the medium, and the medium are actually quite big. They're very soft, nice quality, Kirkland. Love it. Welcome to Art Attack with Grace. So. I'm just doing some different approaches. We have the long conical approach. 
Here we have the Twizzle. Here we have three Twizzles. I'm really just going for whatever my heart desires. It's really giving me Lizzie McGuire vibes and I can't put my finger on it. And now I think I want to watch Disney Plus. Um, I want to watch Lizzie McGuire on Disney Plus. Right. We are getting ready and putting on... Oh my gosh, these are so tiny. I have such big hands. I'm putting on the gloves, ready to get the dye all mixed together. I'm just going to get started. I don't know what colour scheme I'm going to go for. I probably should have looked for some colour inspo on Pinterest first, but we're just going to go for it. Maybe let's go for a little bit of yellow, because I feel like otherwise I won't use the yellow. Because yellow isn't my fave colour. I know loads of people love yellow, don't they? But I'm just not a yellow girl. Guys, I've done those six tops and a hoodie. And look how much dye I have left. You can tell that blue is my favorite color. Hello everybody, my tie dye is curing. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna get dinner together, all right? And we're doing a gift stove, of course, not sponsor. So here we have, well, let me just put my eye. This looks delicious. This is salt and pepper chicken with egg fried rice. And I can't wait. I'm gonna get everything ready and we can make dinner and chats. I could talk about classic British things, like how the weather is. Uh, it's a bit grey, snowed yesterday, what the heck. Look what we've woken up to in April. It's coming down really. What the heck, so weird. Guys, we just finished dinner. What would we rate it out of 10, guys? Give it an eight. Oh, quite low then. That's not low. That's like low, that's 80%. Quite low, I'm joking. <clears throat> what would we improve then? Breast chicken. Yeah, I agree. This is what it looked like. Um, we always have to get Four, four portions from Cook This though. Actually. Because you either do two or four, but this has made six. Five. Five times three by five. Five minutes! Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm just finishing cleaning up breakfast because I, I know, you're not gonna believe it because I don't believe it either. I just had baked oats and enjoyed them. What? We all know I'm an oat hater. I posted over on Grack Snacks, the recipe and everything, so you can go and find it over there. But honestly, they were actually delicious and I normally hate oats and I've tried multiple baked oats recipe, but that one just hit different, like really hit different. Right, let's do, where's my plastic gloves? I might just use marigolds to be honest with you. Let's see how this has gone. Oh, I hate undoing bands. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. What if I'm really, really bad? Grand on baby. Awesome, First top, guys. Are you ready? First top. Top. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> hey, wow. That's nice. really bright. <gasps> I in the back. Why are you laughing? It's funny. Why is that funny? Where's all my wash and stuff? Sixteen. Yeah. Okay, guys. The first two are done. Um, bit too wild and wacky. I think I shouldn't have left them quite as long. Um, very vibrant, but I'm thinking someone in my family will bound to like them. Um, so here are the first two. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. Um, I was just telling my oh sweetheart, she loves following me. Do you realise you are actually a star? Like people really do, even people who don't like cats like you, she genuinely is. They're like sweetest cat ever but like oh she's following me you coming with me come on let's go and bake yeah come on then and i think what i'm gonna do now is i can't really go out or anything whilst um my washing's done and i can't really commit to a task because i'm doing these 15 minute cold washes to like rinse all the dye out so what i'm gonna do Instead of like editing, because if I edit then I'll get distracted, then I'll come, do you know what I mean? I can't get in the flow. So I think I'm going to bake. I've been wanting to make, um, I made these cream egg cookie bars, which were a Jane's patisserie recipe, and they were so good. And I'm thinking of like changing up, and I, in co-op the other day, I bought these Reese's cups. They were on sale. So I thought, if I freeze those, as I did the cream eggs, and then we can make the cookie bar, with Reese's because I feel like that would be so good and I feel like very rarely Reese's cups like aren't in a lot of recipes. We're done with all the tie-dye, everything is clean. My cookie bars have just baked and um, I'm letting them cool in here because last time I flipped them out and it all went a bit peaked on and my tie-dye is hanging on the washing line right here. Good morning everybody, today's the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. <gasps> 
Um, but I'm really excited for today's activities. I'm going shopping. Well, right. So I put off the shopping thing for a while. The shops actually opened on Monday. I actually have a return from before Christmas. Obviously when the shops were open, it was actually when I got my hair cut. And that, I don't know if they're gonna let me take it back because I don't know what the returns policy will be. Um, but hopefully, because I realise I don't want any of that stuff. So, fingers crossed. Um, I also need to get my moisturiser. Oh, I really want to look at the baby clothes because my best friend's pregnant. Also, no, it's not Anna. You can actually have more than one best friend, guys. Don't don't worry, it's not Anna. Um, it's another friend who doesn't like being on camera. So, but I really want to have a look at baby clothes because when we were young, we would always look at baby clothes together. And now she's actually having a baby, so that's a bit exciting to get to. Like, I'm gonna go probably in M&S because I feel like M&S baby clothes oh, maybe Zara or they feel like there's the queue for Zara will be long and that's kind of off-putting um but I'm really excited for her that, isn't that like so exciting um and what else do I, I think there was hang on I wrote a list I also want to see if they have this eye cream for my sister because she has really sore eyes I'm gonna have brekkie before I go because I'm ravenous also because I feel like all my gal friends came on their period yesterday literally I was speaking, everyone was like, I've not stopped crying today because I came on my period. And I was, I was a bit of an emotional, I cried in a meeting. Never do that. I'm not normally a crier. I only cry on my period. It's well annoying. Um, you know, and you're like, why am I so emotionally vulnerable at the moment? And then your period comes and you're like, that's why. My oh my, it is really, really cold. I didn't think it would be this cold. I am really excited i just took some i'm briefing because my tummy was really hurting um oh it's really cold i did not oh i did not dress appropriately i thought it was going to be like not this cold and i've got my flipping light puffer and i haven't got my winter puffer dang it grace did not think properly i'm here at the shopping center i was just into radio one see i love radio one so flipping much who's your favorite presenter on radio one I never quite know. I think it's Greg James. He is a ledge, isn't he? Um, anyway, I'm here. I'm so excited. I'm a bit nervous to take my H&M things back because it's a bit muggy, isn't it? Because um, I feel like they're going to be like, um, actually, you're, that's well over 30 days, but technically I should be allowed. So we'll see what happens. Okay, H&M return is all done. It was really easy, actually. Um, oh, I love it. I feel like a bit emotional why do i feel emotional because of my period um but i'm gonna go up and see what um stuff they have in the kids section see if there are any little baby stuff oh my gosh so tiny look how tiny just went in primark and there wasn't even a queue i thought there'd be a queue and now i think i have seen lakeland and i haven't been in lakeland in so long so i think i'm gonna head out We're back from our adventures and I had a good time. I did get emotional at one point, probably my period, because I just was looking around and all the shops are closing. Like I went into Debenhams and I was actually very restrained. It was 40% of everything. And I normally go wild, but I, I've really tried to have this thing where like, would I be buying it if it wasn't on sale? No. So put it down. All right, Grace, have a bit of self-control, all right? Um, but I did get a few bits and I actually bought, this is gonna sound a bit peculiar. Um, I bought this, an espresso descaling thing because um, Anna needs it. And I knew she, it's the sort of thing that she won't buy, but I know that it's key to having an espresso. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it and I'll just drop it off her house now. Um, and I also got some bits to try, some little snacky bits and M&S. You know, I didn't, again, I didn't go wild and try and have a bit of self-control. I'm home and look at this. These are chips. What? Yeah, chips, hula hoops, but they're chips, not crisps. <laughs> and Space Raiders, chips, not crisps. Very interesting. Um, also a little haul, I got these to try. Colin the Caterpillar Cupcakes. Gimme s'more brownie. Then I got these two cute things. These are really cute, really sweet. These are little body suits. And they've got little tiny strawberries on and little things because 
I remember my cousin had a baby. She said, you can never have enough of these. So there's those. And I also bought them for nine to 12 months because I feel like everyone will buy like newborn stuff. Whereas nine to 12 months, they're gonna, babies grow so quick. And then this one, which I kind of want an adult size. I really want like matching pajamas with this baby. Oh, I can't wait to hold it in this, like this. And the thing is, if, like, if it's a baby, right? It needs to be comfy. And I want it to be comfy when I hold it so it's not scratchy material, do you know what I mean? And it's got these little like textured bits in the bottom. Can you see that? So cute. Good morning, I pick you up from yesterday where I left off. It's Saturday, I was gonna go to London because I thought it was gonna be really busy. So I was like, probably best not to go when it's really busy. So instead I'm going to Hever Castle because they have like a proper booking system and it's all outside and I just feel a bit more comfy doing that. Um, and it looks lovely and the weather is sunny. Um, so I'm really excited to go this afternoon. We are about to go to Hever Castle, which I feel like if you're not from England, you won't have heard of it, but I feel like maybe it's just because I was brought up in the southeast that I know about it. Um, but it's like this castle. It's, I think, it's not actually National Trust. These are Phillips and Petrol en route, which is my least favorite job in the whole entire world. It's so I have arrived. Um, Anna says, Anna just rang. She says she's stuck behind someone. Um, but this is normally the situation I always early, and she's normally not always early. Just listen to the High School Musical soundtrack. And I've realized that I have the same pitch as the Troy Dupe. I don't know if that's a thing, but you know how Troy in the first movie wasn't actually played by Troy, his voice. He was sung by someone else and I have the exact same pitch, I think. I can sing his bits really easily. So I feel like, does that mean I have the same pitch or the same range? I don't know. I'm not a musical person. I don't know anything. I don't think there's anything else to update you on. So I could talk the high leg of a donkey. So should I tell you, give me a topic right now and I'll talk about it for the whole time, okay? Go on, give me, give me a topic. Fairies, okay. Fairies, right, let me put my timer on. Are you ready? Right, here we go, one minute on the clock. Here we go. Fairies are little creatures that... <laughs> Easter fairies, Christmas fairies, Valentine's fairies. I've never been met by the Valentine's. some fairies i actually had this book when i was a kid and it was my favorite book ever um and it had this <laughs> you like could buy a book done it smashed it mate absolutely smashed it out of the park I, I genuinely give me a topic and i'll talk about it even if i know nothing about it i'll be able to do it i also bought on a one of the um colin colin cupcakes wrapped up because i feel like she would like it so that's all there is to update you on. Church right there. And it's donging and it feels quite sweet actually. I'm really excited to go to Heber Castle. Come on, Anna, I wanna go. Anna's here. I'm gonna have a quick swig of water, although I feel like the cafe, I think the cafe's open for takeaways, so it's a little bit fun. I am really, really excited. <laughs> also, I bought these at the petrol station and they are so massive. Look at this. They're they are so chunky, but it kind of tastes a little bit like cigarettes. We are here. She's. <laughs> we are here. We are here. <laughs> we are here. It's flipping beautiful, to be honest with no, you. Right. I love it. So who's the castle right here? And there's a place right here. <laughs> Something's happening. Wow. So this is the Aster Wing, created in 1903 to 19. We are calling this, and we're gonna have afternoon tea. All right, Yay. Monday. We are going to address each other as. Highnesses, it's your ladyship. Your grace. Your, gr your grace. <laughs> uh, Listen, yes. Darling. All right. Would you care to? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. I feel like Shrek's gonna pop out and be like, this is my swamp. You're only at sea. <laughs> Although I am very close to the sea, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> pro. You're doing a lot of the pedaling on her. I'm not I'm gonna doing lie. The <laughs> not being funny. Going really fast. <laughs> Yeah, what now you feel it. Pedal to the metal. See ya. We've got a willow to our right, which is actually where I got stuck before with Fran. We love you, Fran. We See you, you soon. Fran. Look at this. We're ready at sea. <laughs> this would be terrifying if you did it on sea. Can you imagine? Thank goodness we didn't do the road boats. Oh, we would, we yeah. would only be 
we wouldn't even be half this distance. It's, it's, it's a nice thought, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah. it's just not I'd realistic. Rather, I'd rather have someone row me. Yeah, like in Cambridge. We're Hunter. actually getting some real speed. Traction, we've got traction, guys. Okay. It's oh. oh, God. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's lean with it, right? Okay, how do we? And that's the end of the vlog. I have had such a good week. It feels so good to be able to do something a little bit different. I feel so appreciative. Um, I love you all loads. I hope you're all well and staying safe and healthy and happy. I love you.